<laughs> like none of that. All right, man, let's get to the sticky. Uh, there was a bomb that got dropped this past week. And, you know, everybody know about Megan Thee Stallion and, and Tory Langs for the longest. We knew that they had got arrested, but the actual fact, we didn't technically know what happened. You know, we knew what happened. happened. Right. Well, well we, when Megan came it out. It just wasn't you know, confirmed. She just right, never confirmed, confirmed it, but we knew what it was. Yeah, Megan, Megan, you know, it wasn't confirmed. But Megan confirmed it. She said, you shot me. There's so many different layers to it, but she went on IG Live. And, I, you know, it's so crazy because I saw on Twitter, she had tweeted, like, keep lying, right? I'm going to show you something. And I was like, who am Megan talking to? You know what I'm saying? Like, who, who she talking to? Yeah, they was poking and, the bear. Right. And then so she came out on IG Live. She told a whole story. Technically, it wasn't even by Kylie Jenner's house. It was near her house. Uh, it was four people in the car, and she tried to walk away. And it wasn't no glass or any other fragments. It was straight bullets that she got shot in her feet, in her feet from Tory Lanez after an argument. And I don't know if you can call out any other rise and fall during the pandemic like Tory Lanez. Yeah, quarantine radio was massive. Because quarantine radio, MTV had just gave him a deal of uh, having his own show. Everybody was checking in quarantine radio. I mean, I saw Megan had checked in. Chicks Take time. 5 was crazy. I like, ain't think none of it. You said what? His last album, Chicks, well, Chicks Take 5 was crazy. New Toronto mm -hmm. 3 was, 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 was good, but Chicks Take 5 was, was I, I even called it a classic. You did. You did. And um, I guess my question is, when you... When she did you need to hear her confirm it, or did you feel like the reports were enough for you to be like, oh no, Tori shot her? I mean, we knew what it was. I knew what I knew what it was. I didn't need her. I know you and it, I knew from industry but, intake, but what we know, but I'm saying But once once she confirmed it, it's like ah What was your reaction? What was what was my reaction? I was yeah. like, damn, damn. That's the first damn. He's done. Because that's an indictment. That's that's public record now that she has confirmed you as the shooter, so now you, he, he's going to be he's going to be locked up and in cuffs within a week, because she's identified him as the shooter. So now, wherever you're at, that that knock on the door is coming. That knock on the door is coming real what soon. Which I'm not saying it's a bad thing, though. It's yeah. not I'm not saying she she shouldn't have done it. I'm saying that it, it just changes it changes the it changes everything of for the whole case because before she wasn't cooperating like she was trying to save him so he had the he 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 had the breath like he had he had a lesser charge he just had a gun charge and he was out on bail and he could actually live his life so she actually did save him and she was she was being a ride or die for a minute and you know I guess he he bit the hand that fed him or, or was giving him freedom because she definitely, I mean, she definitely had the power to just. I was just about to ask you about, about that. What you think about that whole the fact that she protected him? Because she gave the story that you know she felt for her life because the police are already out here shooting people. And so Absolutely. Her attitude, her attitude was, I'm not about to tell the police there's a gun in the car. You know, even to the point where when she said the officer was like being disrespectful to her and she's bleeding and they making her. You know, I think there's a video of her walking backwards. So whatever the case. And she said, you know, I'm trying to protect you. I'm trying to protect everybody that's involved in that situation. What is that? What does that say? Like, what is well, that? Well, no, that's what I was saying. I'm talking about once she actually gets to the hospital, because they actually questioned her when she was in the hospital. That's, mm -hmm. you know, she, that's, they won't, it will, well, hopefully it would never happen in a hospital. But on the scene, yes, that's absolutely true. Like, you don't want to tell her, tell, give up that information. No, it's, it's a guy with a gun in the car. They just shot, they just shot off a shot. Because that, it, it automatically, as soon as you say gun, them, them cops, they grabbing that, they grabbing that hip, and that's so that I, I um, commend her on that. I mean, that was just smart. Like she, like she wasn't trying to get shot again. Like she just got shot for the first time, wasn't trying to get shot again. But she did save him once she got later on because she continued to not cooperate and not identify him as the shooter even after she left the hospital. Up until then, like we found out, as soon as the police, when the police found out he was the shooter, we did too. So up until then, she was like, Psh, no, she was not. She was not cooperating. She was, she she was saving them. Yo, guess, what what does that say? Like, there's so many layers. I'm gonna try to tackle one as quick as possible. That it says that that the fact that the police are there, you got shot, and you don't want to tell the police. I mean, I, I I need police to really hear that. That that's a problem. Like, you are here. I got shot, and I don't want to tell you because I don't want to get shot by you after I've already been shot. Like, absolutely, that's that's, 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 a, that's a true feeling. 
That's a very true feeling because yeah. I'm more afraid of you than the person who just shot me. Than the person who just shot me twice. <laughs> like, what does that say? You know, that's what that says. Like, I, I'm more afraid of you than the, than the person yes. who just shot me. Like, yo, and I really need the police to really kind of hear that. Like, if you can't see that your methods have have brought people to this point where I'm sitting there bleeding because you can die from getting shot in your feet. You can die. Yeah, you hit an artery. You, yeah. you can die getting shot anyway. You just got if it hits an artery or goes too far in, yeah, you did. You can go. Or at least get your foot amputated. And you, you, you are willing to spend your last moments that you don't know saving somebody who just shot you, based upon the already fear that you have of the police. Mm -hmm. Like that speaks. That's, yeah, well, that's I, I believe I believe on the scene she was in initial shock and she was scared, so she was saving herself on the actual scene because, like she said, she was scared of getting shot. By, by the police. But once she got to the hospital, that's when she had time to think. And she kind of she kind of just went into the code, you know, just the code, just I ain't saying nothing. And she asked, that's where she saved them, though. But initially yeah. she was initially she was protecting herself as, yeah. as well as everybody else. Correct. Correct. But she definitely Man, she, I mean, she yeah, definitely she lived. She correct. definitely lived up to the song Savage. She, she's definitely a savage. <laughs> yeah, and she definitely claimed that she said that she his, his yeah, I guess his people because Tory had kind of disappeared. Like I don't think he has a social media page, and like he he had. Oh, he still has a social. Media. He his page is still up. He just hasn't posted. He's he just hasn't posted. Quiet. He been but like low, she right? said, it's like what is he gonna say? Like what is he gonna say? Cause the first time he posts or say something, first thing first thing somebody gonna say is you shot you shot Megan. What's up with yeah. Megan? So that's the those questions are coming. So why he he just went to hide it? But and they did yeah. say he saw him at like a McDonald's or something like. Yeah, he's been uh, Orlando. Low. He he was Orlando. Yeah, he 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 been he been laying low, but of course. she claim, but she claims that he had his peoples trying to like his publicist putting out different stories about how he was she stories. was the aggressor, he she hit he her and things of that nature. So and she said she got tired of reading what people were saying on social media. Which go to show you like the new age of celebrity now, because Cause listen, both things can be true. Like we, I think we forget that celebrities still speak a language within themselves, like what we were talking about earlier. And the fact that, you know, you and I, we're old enough where it's like, you know, we probably would not have been affected as much as people saying they want to say on social media, because we would have been like, tap out, I'm good, woo woo. But Megan's only mm -hmm. twenty five, you know what I'm saying? So she's looking at social media. These things are affecting her mental. And, and I'm so, twenty five too. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> So these things are affecting her mental. Therefore, she felt like she couldn't take it no more. And that was her reasoning between that and what was going on behind the scenes. But with that, the reaction was people were trying to, well, a lot of men were calling her Takashi 6 9 and saying that she's she snitching. You think there's some truth to that? Because well, you said not, she did a code. So did she break a code? She didn't break the code because she's a, she's a civilian. And people are, people like switch up the the meaning of snitching. Now, let me actually break down what a snitch is. Please do. Uh, yeah, a, yeah. a snitch Please do. is a snitch is someone go. who is a uh, who is a willing participant in any activity that they know the consequences of or the potential consequences of, but when the consequences come, they decide they don't want to suffer those consequences and they decide to to, to tell on other people to lessen their consequences or let themselves off. All together, and in the words of and in, and in the words of Pusha T, because snitch is an acronym, means sorry, sorry I'm, trying, I'm, to come home. <laughs> I'm trying to come home. One of the greatest so acronyms ever in hip hop. Exactly. So that's what a snitch is. When uh, when Megan did, she was she's not a snitch. I mean, she's a civilian. She was not a willing participant in getting shot. If you shot me, I mean, and cops ask me who shot you, who shot me. I can point to you. I'm not snitching. No, you shot me. <laughs> we uh, we didn't we didn't say we, we didn't. I, I didn't sign up for a gunfight today. If I sign up for a gunfight and say we're gonna wild wild west it out and you shoot me, then I call the police. Yeah, I, I'm snitching now, but I didn't. I wasn't a willing participant in a gunfight. Yeah, man. Can we talk about how weak it is for these ninjas out here to be talking about that she's in comparison to six nine? Like, he's nowhere near like, six like, nine. Six is, nine was in. He was a willing participant in what was going on. Dog, that is the weakest thing I've been seeing online. Because listen, I, I, I'm, I wasn't following what people were saying about her. I was more just like, man, I hope she's okay. 
You know what I mean? But the fact that you want to compare him to somebody who's walking around six nine is actually pounding his chest saying, I am a rat. Like he got cartoon drawing that he's a rat. Megan, to your point, she's a tax paying citizen. She got an argument. There's not an argument that can that should escalate to the level of someone getting shot. Mm -hmm. Especially when you talk about a man shooting a woman. Especially when you talk about the climate of what we're going through right now. And black women have been screaming to the top of their lungs about protect black women. And then here you go, Tory Lanez. You not only are you arguing with her about something I guess that you two couldn't come to the understanding about, you pull out your gun. Like, I don't know what kind of cocaine you've been on, bro. You understand? When you actually pull out your gun and you bust at her more than once and you shoot her feet, like, what did you think this was? You understand? And at mind you, I'm somebody, I like to wait on all the information to come in before I make a decision. But to me, once she actually put her foot down and was like, yeah, you shot me, then I'm like, I don't really care how she came to that conclusion. Yeah, you can make the argument that she waited, you know, she was weak to be read social media comments and cut it off. And you can make this argument like, oh, well, uh, you know what I mean? She's lying on him and all the other stuff. All that to me is irrelevant. Like, that's irrelevant because she still was the victim that got shot. So however Bruh. she came to the conclusion with you, I'm surprised she held the story for this long. Bro, you was, shot a female. It was looking like we wasn't going to get the whole story. For It was it was looking like it was going to be one of them unsolved yeah. mysteries in hip-hop. She was, right? It looked like she was going to hold that and just take it to the grave exactly. for a long time. It looked like she was going to take it to the grave. But you got to be the weakest of dudes. And listen, man. Neither and that's one up to her. And that's that's completely her choice. That's yeah. completely her choice. Yeah. And the thing is, neither one of us claim to be any angels. Like, I'm not claiming to be no angel. You're not claiming to be an angel. We we talk all the time about our past F-boy behavior and, and how we had to come to the light and be a little bit better, you know, as pro, as pro men and things of that nature. But to pull out your gun and shoot a woman, bro, like, that ain't the most sucky shit ever. Like, come on, man. Like, that's a pull lot. out your gun and shoot a woman. I think I think even Ike Turner would have been like, "Dang, bro!" Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, <laughs> it's like you, like, you gonna, on, you like, gonna shoot it? Like, oh, uh, right, bro, like, that is the worst, yo. Like, that is that is like there's there's nothing for that. Like, I don't have, and you know, he he deserves whatever comes to him with that. Do you think he's done? Oh yeah, I mean, he just, he just shot. It. Look, he he's going away for some time, and he's an alien. <laughs> he is from Canada. He, he he's getting deported and he's going to jail. Is he's he's gone for at least five years, minimum of five. He's going I mean, for a minimum of five. Doing some sucker stuff before the end, though. This is not Toy's first sucker offense. He he kind of got a history of a little some some suckerish things that he's done. But I, I chalk that up to the new age of celebrity. They all have kind of done some suckerish stuff that I'm just not, you know, a fan of. And you and I have had the conversations, so, you know, mm-hmm. but. To me, this is what sucker stuff leads to. This is what sucker shit leads to. Leads to five to ten. It leads to five to ten. <laughs> so when everybody was all like so passive aggressive about some of these actions, they when you see these celebrities doing some of the sucker shit, especially the men, this is what the kind of stuff can lead to because you guys are promoting it and approving some of their behavior as if it's okay. I mean, mm. the fact that you have somebody writing on her live free Tory or fuck that free Tory, you are condoning sucker shit and you're a sucker too. Because mm. yeah. what are you freeing? He was out. There's nothing to free. The homie got out on bail. And like you said, he didn't take the charge. That's attempted murder. Like, he ain't taking none of them charges. Yeah. He, well, she wasn't. Uh, it has to be certain st- certain statures to be attempted murder. Like, it has to have been a life-threatening injury. And I don't think she getting shot in the foot is good. They're going to consider that a life-threatening injury. So, like, if he, she would have been shot in the chest or in the in the abdomen or in the head or something like that, or shot like five times or something like that. That's they consider that attempted murder. And I'm not a lawyer or a judicial uh, you guru. <laughs> you sound like but, a you shooter act. But, but I'm just sound. saying, <laughs> stop it. Yeah. But I'm just saying, no. Uh, you know a lot of details. It's, it's I think the, the charge is assault with a deadly weapon, and I think the weapon is an illegal weapon too. So that just like I said, five to ten. Mm. Do you, what do you think this puts the, do you it just wonder, I, I wonder, is he going to do it in Canada or is he going to do it in the U.S. though? That's true. Do you think this, this puts a cloud on us as black men representing on the whole protect black women thing? Do you think this puts a cloud over it? Oh, yeah, that definitely, it definitely makes it, makes us look bad. Okay. How's up? Well, he's a Canadian black man. Let's just throw it on him. Psych, 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 psych. psych, psych. I, I, I was on key way. Like, you know, that's a, yeah, yeah. Like, that's a Canadian. That's, those are Canadian hey, guys. He over there. He over there. He over there. Yeah. 
It's like, no, 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 it doesn't matter. You Canadian or American, South American, Mexican, it doesn't matter. It's not right for a guy to be beating on a woman or hitting a woman or shooting a woman. Like, yeah. So you don't think that is – so do you – I guess I'm asking, do you think that's fair that this act represents all of us? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think it represents all of us. It, does, it definitely doesn't represent all of us, but I think it makes us look bad because we were all fans of Tori. I was fans of Tori. I mean, I, I – Tori, Tori is a great artist. Like he, he's multi-talented, and he's 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 just he's just a great artist. Period. But I mean, it, it hurts because it's like, dang, Tori, why, 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 bro? Why, you? Yeah. I mean, I saw you? Kalani said she took his verse off her, her song. Her yeah, song it's still happened. playing though. I think it's a it's 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 a slow process to that. To, um, just getting it off every station everywhere. But yeah, she she officially did file to take that off the song. Yeah. I mean, do you think most most people who got collabs with him are going to be doing that? You think they're going to follow her lead? Uh, I probably think they won't release them, but if they're already out, I doubt if people really take them off because you don't see a lot of people like taking those R. Kelly features off, taking those R. Kelly for production. They everybody taking those R. Kelly R. Kelly produced this record and they went double platinum. They're not taking that record off the shelf. <laughs> yeah, but I think that that I think unfortunately we've gotten to that point of that. I think five, six years ago, like you said, anything before that R. Kelly documentary, even though unfortunately we shouldn't have been, people still were leaving on that. But I think we're in a climate now where people want to see that action be immediate. And yeah. I don't know. I think you... I think going forward, what I think is going forward, uh -huh. if somebody had music with Tori that they did not release prior to that night, it will not be released. They, they taking that forward. off, yeah. Yeah, it, it will yeah. not be released. But anything that was already released before that, before it, is going to be what it is. But anything, if you didn't put that music out before that night, yeah, you can you can go ahead and chalk that up. Don't don't, yeah, don't even put it out. Payne was one of the people that have got on Twitter and was like, "Hey, yo, I got this song with 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 Tory Lanez. What's the climate?" Because that was when the news had first broke when we didn't when it wasn't confirmed. But now that it's mm -hmm. been confirmed, to your point, I think no, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't think moving forward. It's, it's wise for you to be like, even hell, even when there's media people. I got this interview with Tory Lane. Like, if you're not, if he's not gonna come on there and say what he did, <laughs> nobody wants to hear that. You yeah, if it's mean? not a, if it's not one of those heart to heart confessional, uh, no. uh, sixty minute <laughs> interviews. Yeah, we ain't talking about no music. <laughs> we talking Yo, about you, your Halle life, Berry and your decision, for it, bro. Your, she had Halle Berry oh, yeah. speaking for her. Like, absolutely. If yeah. you didn't know who. There are people who did not know who Tory Lanez was into this incident, unfortunately. Yeah, bad news always travels a lot faster than good news. That's just a fact. That's people what I'm like saying. the drama. So do you think do you think he can recover the way Chris Brown? I don't personally I don't think Chris Brown Chris ever Brown didn't the shoot. Way. He didn't but shoot. But I'm just Rihanna. saying, just for just for content, I, I think we forget where Chris Brown was when that situation happened with Rihanna. I still don't think Chris Brown ever recovered to where he I think was he I think he re I think he re he can recover. I think yeah, he think he can come back once he comes back from but jail. Talk, course, but, 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 <laughs> but it's I'm not gonna be the about, same. It's not gonna be the same. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not talking about will you be able to like make a living. Like Chris Brown makes a living. Mm. Like Chris Brown is still Chris Brown. But I think a lot of times, because it's been 10 years, we forget the level of stardom that Chris Brown was at. Mm -hmm. when, you know what I'm saying? Before the, I mean, the double mid commercial and all that. Like, a lot of us forgot because these past 10 years, he's been on a certain level. But we forget where he was ascending to mm -hmm. before that. Reaction. So he never... Well, he's, he's back there. Stardom. I think he's back there. No, no way. He was, dog, he was in movies, endorsements. No way. No way Chris Brown is at where he was supposed to be. No way. There's no way. There's no way you can make that comparison. Chris Brown, that goes to show you how much of a big star Chris Brown is because he's still a star. Mm -hmm. But when you think about where he was going, so he was at an A-level starter, and he got knocked down to like a B-plus. Tory Lanez was not at A-level. Tory Lanez no, was just – Chris Brown got knocked down to like a, a D. <laughs> he, he was and at he A and he like knocked a, down. He recovered to like a B-minus. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I say he's an A minus. I say he's like an A minus. He, he, he was recovered an a to minus. an A minus. I, I, so I would say this: Chris Brown was at an A plus. He got dropped down to a D. He recovered to a B minus. Tory Lanez right. was at a C plus at best. Absolutely. At at best.
He got knocked down. And he got him. dropped down to like F J. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. His recovery is not going to be on the same level. Is what I'm saying. Oh no, no, the recovery is not going to be the same. He, he's not he gonna, great. He's going he gonna to put out like he's going to have to put out like four throwaway albums when he when he when he could get when he when this is all yes. over. Absolutely. Four just throwaway albums like when Chris Brown put out Transform You and all that stuff. Right. That was a throwaway <laughs> album. mixtapes. Yeah, some mixtapes just put a bunch of stuff out there so we can, so we can ignore it for everybody to ignore. And then, you know, we finally stop maybe paying attention to you again if the music does is he, good enough. Does he and, he, and of course, he's come out and, you know, and he's apologized. And Megan has accepted him first. Megan has to okay him first. Like, before before he's right. he's welcomed by everybody, Megan has to welcome yeah, him. We she forgot, has to give us the okay. We forgot. Rihanna did forgive him. Publicly, yes. So that's that that helped also too. So and did a song with him. Yeah. And and Rihanna did music with Chris Brown afterwards Correct. too. So, so Megan has to accept him, and Megan has has to uh, take the apology and and welcome him back before we can, I believe. Right. And we're not saying Megan should do it. She's no. I'm not saying she should do it at all. She don't have to. That's up to her. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it could be F to the day she goes. Yeah, it could be F toy forever. But if Megan accepts them, then we can accept them. But not unless Megan. Megan is the gatekeeper. I'll put it that way. I, I agree with that. I think if he's going to have any kind of any kind of um, recovery, it has to start with Megan. If it don't start for Megan, ain't nobody ain't nobody trying to hear that. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. Megan doesn't have to. Um, I'm not going to tell her what she should, what she shouldn't do. She, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna say she shouldn't have to. Like she, she don't. She should. It should be no pressure well, on Megan. She don't have to. She no definitely reason. don't have to. There's no pressure. Mm -hmm. She can take. She can. She can accept the apology thirty years from now if she wants to. <laughs> if she <laughs> wants to accept it. Right. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like you know, and, that, and that's what people gotta get. That's what people gotta understand. Where do you think Megan goes from here? Well, Megan ain't stop, ain't slowed down, and she ain't she she's gonna keep moving. Megan is like Megan is a savage. She's a champion. Like she's winning and winning and winning. She just became the um, first like she went number one on Billboard Hip Hop uh, Songwriters Chart. Like yeah. Megan is Megan is still winning. Like she ain't she ain't missing a step. If anything, it's gonna catapult her even more. That's right. Yeah. So so Megan Megan is the truth. So. She so like is, I said, she's the gatekeeper. She's the gatekeeper to the rest of Tory Lane's career. Unless she welcomes him back and okays it, we can't welcome him back. Does she put this in her music? Does she? Does of she, course. Like, because you know, you know, technically, of course. technically, technically, Megan has still gave us quote unquote mixtapes. So when she gave her official debut, does she put this in her music? Of course. Okay. She got to tell the story. Okay. She got to tell us the story. Yeah, yeah, and Megan can spit, rock, so she 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 can put it in the she she can put it in the words, and it's gonna come because Megan Megan can spit. I agree with you. No, Megan Megan got bars, man, and I don't care what some of these Negroes out here talking about, man. That WAP song goes. <laughs> so, oh yeah, WAP is the truth. That WAP record. That WAP that WAP goes, man. I don't care what none of y'all say. You know what I'm saying? That WAP goes. So y'all can y'all can kick rocks. Yeah, they they sing every single word to the song. Rock. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not about to get into why WAP is good because some of you were being hypocrites. Because if you came up off a little Kim, too short, hell, you listen to songs now. You ain't got to go back in the day. You listen to songs now. You know what I mean? Two women talking about WAP, knowing that we all love WAP, even women. I don't understand why y'all upset. Mm -hmm. So we gonna get off that for real. But I really do hope that she takes the time to recover, and I hope that Megan gets all the help that she needs. You know, saying physically and mental, because I can. You can see it on the IG story that mentally she still is going through it, you know. So I really hope that she get the services that she need so she can so she can recover. Because yeah, we talk about lost, people, people forget she just lost her mother like a year ago. Bro, she lost both of her folks. You know what I'm saying? So it's like absolutely, she's been through a lot. So while we're talking about Tory Lane's recovery of his career, I'm really advocating for Megan's recovery in life, and I'm really advocating for her to go further in life because she's already a dope artist. But I really yeah. hope this skyrockets her, you know what I mean, further when she talk about her art in her own time. So I really hope that, you know, she does that, man. You know, absolutely. Yeah.